Hi everyone! Today I am doing a very requested video and it is my makeup collection which is right here to my right and I'm doing it on my iPhone which I've never made a video on my iPhone before so let's just see what happens. Y'all might not ever see this which is kind of sad. Alright, so first of all here's my whole setup. I have the black Alex 6 drawers from Ikea, which is what most people have. This is the wider version. There is a smaller version that they make, but I decided I wanted the wider one. Um, and then this is from Target. It's just like a Sterilite three-drawer container. And then this is from an antique store in St. Augustine, Florida. So here is my, like, skincare stuff. So in here... I have makeup cleansers, so I have Burt's Bees, Neutrogena, back here is Epiel and Olay, and then I have, those are my makeup wipes, eye makeup remover, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Pixie, just a bunch of random stuff, Botanics is a cleanser, a lot of Estee Lauder skincare because my mom uses that, and she has a lot of samples, an Olay one, just various skincare like removers, oh and then this is kind of cool, it's not like a Clarisonic obviously, but it's got these rubberized bristles and it's a um like a massager. It uh it vibrates and stuff. So I don't know. I use that sometimes. The next drawer is all of my moisturizers and serums. So this is a Neutrogena. These are Estee Lauder. This is this Aqua Thermal Vinci or Vin yeah, Vinci, I think is how you pronounce it, which they now have at Target. Um this is a Neutrogena, yes to cucumbers. I have a couple of simple things. Um, a serum, a serum, no bay, noxema, simple. These are toners, this uh, Neutrogena, and simple one. So that's just like my skincare. And then here is my skincare that I don't use every day. So like this is a lip exfoliant, Michael Todd cleanser. These are uh, what I use to put my hair up. Uh, when I'm doing my makeup or like skincare or masks. This is where I keep bobby pins. This is a Burt's Bees stick, Dr. Brandt, um, exfoliant, some mark fading pads, eye things, just some exfoliants and things that I don't use every day, but I like to have. Then back here, this came from Ikea also. It came with a set of three. And this is where I keep all of my face brushes, eco tools, um, some Estee Lauder ones that I really don't like, Elf, um, Marcus, what is this, Michael Marcus, which I got in a Wantable, and then this is my Beauty Blender, it desperately needs to be washed, it's a white one, I used it today and I'm, I was actually going to wash it, but I wanted to make this video first because the lighting was good, and then this is where I keep my eye makeup brushes, this is like a little coaster thing from, um, Vera Bradley, and that's in Frankly Scarlet, which they don't make anymore, but it's one of my favorite patterns. So, e.l.f. Eye, maker, or eye Curler. This is just some hand sanitizer that I use. And then some makeup brushes, you know, Eco Tools. A couple of Estee Lauder ones. That's an e.l.f. one. This is Nika K, which I actually really like, and they're not too expensive. And Smashbox. And then in here, which again, I got at a an antique store in St. Augustine. I just really like it. It's got a giant mirror. Those are my legs. It's really attractive. Um, and then these are my Q-tips, my cotton balls, and my cotton pads. So nothing super exciting in there, but that's what I have. Here is my first makeup drawer. I have a washcloth because I kind of brush my brushes off on them. These are all of my foundations. So we have Neutrogena, CoverGirl, All May, L'Oreal, Body Shop, Revlon, this is the new Rimmel Stay Matte, CoverGirl Maybelline, you know, just a wide variety. As you'll see, most of my makeup is drugstore. Um, and then this is my, back here, let's go here. This is my BB cream, so that's a Kula one, Garnier, and Revlon. This is my primers and concealers. This one's from Physician's Formula, CoverGirl, Neutrogena, Revlon, Smashbox, Hard Candy. This is a sample of the Estee Lauder Double Wear that I haven't used yet and then some primers I have Clinique, Too Faced, and Pixie. And then here are all my powders. This one's one of my favorites. It's by Revlon. This is another one. It's a translucent powder by Cody and I love it. Body Shop, Neutrogena, 
Rimmel. This is the Revlon Aqua Stay, which I think, or Color Stay Aqua. I think I'm going to do a review on that and some bare minerals ones. So the, oh, and I also, as you'll see from a lot of things, this is just a birch box lid. I use birch box and glossy box lids, and this is just your standard, like, drawer liner. And so all of my drawers align with that so my stuff doesn't fly around while I open and close my drawers. So this is my blush bronzer highlight drawer. As you can see, it's not very full. But that's okay. Revlon NYC Laura Geller, which this is one of my very favorites. I just think it's so pretty. It's in raspberry. Sleek, Bare Minerals, Bella Pierre. This is a cream blush that I got from a Wantable. It's by Glam Natural, I think. Yeah. I don't think you'll be able to see that because of the glare of the light. But that's pretty good. I got a Sorme blush and bronzer, which I don't really love. This I absolutely am obsessed with. It's the e.l.f. one. that by Sa It's in St. Lucia. It's really popular. It's got a lot of hype on YouTube. I think it's totally worth it. This is really awkward. I got it in a Wantable. It came broken. They sent me a new one. But if you can tell, it's like a brownie red color. So it's too brown to be a um, blush, but it's too red to be a bronzer. It just doesn't really do anything. I don't know what to do with that. So if you all have any ideas, let me know. This is a NYC Sunny, NYC Sun and Bronze, which is like a lot more shimmery than I thought. I really use it more as a highlighter. Physicians Formula Happy Booster. One of my favorites, the Girlactic Beauty Highlighter. This is like a silver one. And these three are more gold. This one I got in Birchbox. What is this? The Miracle Skin Face Spotlight. The what, What's Up by Benefit and the Bourgeois, or Borghese one. So this is my first eye drawer. Eye makeup is definitely my favorite. So I have some primers back here. Elf and uh, Too Faced, which I actually like the Elf better. Then these are from Victoria's Secret. I don't think they make them anymore. Pixie, L'Oreal Infallible, Ulta, CoverGirl, which I like the CoverGirl singles. A lot of people don't. All May Softies, Starlux. This is by Anika, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um... Elf, Baked Shadow, a Meet Beauty, and a Maybelline Single. So that's just my single eyeshadows. And then in this glossy box, these are my like shadow sticks and my cream shadow bases. So I have some, um, what do you call these? Maybelline Color Tattoos, CoverGirl Shine Shadows, which I really like. This one I got in Ipsy. It's by City Color. This I got in Ipsy also. It's an Elizabeth Mott Stick. Jelly Pong Pong, Itini, Milani. Cella, Revlon, CoverGirl, Be a Bombshell, CoverGirl, Neutrogena, NYC. I really like these NYCs. There's Kanga. She's taking a nap on my laundry, just in case you wanted to see her. Mascara, I always have a bunch of mascara open. It's just what I like to do. Um, I have more high-end mascara than anything else, I mean, than any other high-end products. So this is CoverGirl, Neutrogena, which I really like. Benefit, they're real. Tarte, Dior. Revlon, CoverGirl, CoverGirl, BH Cosmetics, Rimmel, CoverGirl, I'm sorry, Maybelline, 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 and Smashbox, which this is one of my favorites right now. These are my liquid liners and a little pencil sharpener from, um, I want to say it's from NYC. BH Cosmetics, Punker, and Elf, which Elf is my favorite of those three. They're all black. These are my eyeliners. It's, this is a Stila case that I got with five Stila smudge sticks and so I just keep all of my eyeliners in here as you can see we have some Stila, Body Shop, CoverGirl, Rimmel, NYC, Estee Lauder, Samita which I really like, um, Pixie which I really like, these two are Stila, I have some Boots in, or some like the Boots brand, Revlon, Milani, NYC, just a bunch of them, different colors. I like colored eyeliner a lot. So that's what's in there. I have some Sonia Kashuk's. So they live there. This is my fourth drawer, which is my palette drawer. So let's see if y'all can see all of that. Yes. So Pacifica, this is one of my favorites and has been pretty much since I started really seriously using makeup. Stila. This is like the art, what is it called? The Artful Eye Collectors um, Edition, Volume 3. It's okay. I 
I'm I'm gonna review that. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Eddie Funkhauser, Be a Bombshell, Wet and Wild Revlon, which is in my giveaway right now, which I will link to below. That's Heart, Body Shop, All May. This is an Estee Lauder Duo, which I think is really pretty, and I really think their packaging is just cool. Maybelline Duo. This is like a weird L'Oreal. Isn't it L'Oreal? Yeah, it's got a lot of um, glare, but it's a weird thing. I don't know. I haven't really played with that too much. I just got it. This is a Smashbox Full Exposure Sample, but there's actually more in there than you would think. I used some of that today. Boots. Botanics Duo, Maybelline Duo, Victoria's Secret Duo, and this All My Little Quad. So that's just all of my palettes or duos or things that I actually use like that are multiple shadows in one. And then we have my lip drawer, which is probably my most full of all of my drawers. So over here we just have some glosses. Oh, well first we have a chapstick because you always need chapstick and this is the Too Faced Lip Insurance. I don't like that. We have Color Elixirs by Maybelline, A Bare Minerals, Pixie. This is Pop Beauty. These are the Elf Hyper Shine glosses. Really like those. Haute Flash by Milani. L'Oreal Infallible Milani 3D Glitzy glosses. I really like these two, but I can't find them in drugstores. I think the new Milani products um, replaced those. And then over here, Pixie, CoverGirl, BH Cosmetics. Revlon Beauty for Real, which this is one of those that light up. Kind of like the whitening lightning. I don't have any of those. This is Physician Formula, and it also lights up, and it matches your pH. I really like that gloss. Two L'Oreal's. These Lorac ones that I got in a um, set around Christmas I don't love. And more Pixie. Then back here we have my Squeezy Tubes, which obviously isn't super full, but it just got them in its own place. Balance Me, NYC, and Burt's Bees. Over here was just tinted lip balms, and then we had some um, fall over. So we have Smoochies. This is a Sonia Kashuk one I really like. Pacifica. Somebody is what it says, and it's um, I think it's more organic, and that was from Birchbox. Neutrogena. This one's Mica Beauty, and this one's Kaylin. And I find that these two are really comparable. They're very pigmented and super drying, so they're really just like a potted lipstick. I have two lip liners. I don't really use them very much. This is Rimmel, and this is Face Stockholm, and a Pixie. And then over here, we have lipsticks and then some other random bits and bobs. So this is a Just Bitten Balm Plus Stain, which is not the same. It's kind of like both of these, the NYC one. They, um, they're just like markers. I don't really love them. Elf. This is CoverGirl. Then these are all my square lipsticks. We have a lot of CoverGirl. These hold two rows. This whole row is um, Estee Lauder, Maybelline, Revlon. This is Boots Botanics, I believe. The Natural. Yeah, sorry about all that glare. There's a lot. Um, L'Oreal and Sonia Kashuk. Then this one is square also, but it's like slanted. It's weird, so it just stays over here, and it's L'Oreal. These are all my circle ones, which... Some of these back here stand up, but these Estee Lauder ones do not. So all of these are Estee Lauder. Revlon, Bare Minerals, um, Body Shop, Number 7, NYC. So that's my lips. And these are all my chubby stick slash lip pencil things. We have some Revlon. This is a Neutrogena. And these four are NYC. So that's my lip drawer, which again is my fullest. And I have to be really careful because as you can see those like shake a lot and last but not least we have my nail drawer so I have some nail gems that I've never used these little toe things this is a nail buffer some nail files this is glitter that I got in a um, birch box and as you can see it is really pretty when it hits the light but I feel like you can just use regular nail polish and get the same effect Base and top coats, I have five. The Revlon, these two are my favorite. This is an Essie. This is a China Glaze Matte Top Coat, and this is by a brand named Savvy. This is my little manicure set. Nothing super exciting. I have Up and Up brand nail polish remover, cuticle oil, impress, and then these on the side are NYX sticks. So they're Nicole by OPI but they are nail polish sticks but they dry out pretty bad so 
I don't know if I would really like there's still nail polish in it but the brush that you use to apply it whoops, dries out and then this is all of my nail polish I have a lot I really love nail polish and it is in rainbow order it starts off gold brown red pink orange um, then yellow green blue I have a lot of blue and purples those are my favorites um, purple and then it goes to like black and silvers and whites and then just a couple that are like random and a lot of different colors so lots of different brands there we have Sally Hansen Azoya a lot of Nicole by OPI Milani Maybelline color touch or excuse me color show this is the Jordan Liberty one Revlon what is this um, forever 21 those are physicians formula just a bunch of different ones nothing um, super super exciting this one's probably my most expensive it's by Lauren B and it's actually what I have on right there on those nails which is coming up super white but it's just a light pink and then this silver which again is not there we go that looks good it's a Sonia Kashuk one it's this one which is in the shade smoke and mirrors but it's just really pretty and super silvery and opaque so that's all my nail polish and that's also just whoa super close up that's my makeup collection I hope you enjoyed this this is all the makeup I have I wanted to do this because number one it was super highly requested and number two I wanted to do it before I move because in case you don't know I'm moving August 1st today it's like May 13th so I'm gonna move in a few months and I wanted to do this and if y'all are interested I can do another one once I move and like have a new setup but this is what I have at this apartment and I really like it if there's something that you see missing and you're like Becky how are you living without this please let me know and I'll for sure check it out if there's anything that you want to see a product review on um, that I haven't done please let me know that I'm gonna list a whole link of I mean, excuse me a whole playlist of product reviews in case there's something that you're interested in um, maybe it's in there and like I said if not tell me that you want to see it and I can do that and I'm also gonna link my old makeup collection because literally it all fit in like one of these drawers and now I've grown a little bit which is kind of a problem obviously the stereotypical I'm not trying to brag I'm not trying to offend anyone if you watch this whole video then and you knew it was obviously a makeup collection please don't leave me hate um, if you do I mean that's your prerogative whatever but I mean you knew it was a makeup collection and if you don't like this video you don't have to watch it so that's all I have to say about that um, and just leave me comments and say hello and whatever and that's all I have for y'all today so I will see y'all real soon bye oh gosh bye